Hi to folks, hope you're doing well staying safe. I'm uh, sitting here having a nice uh, cup of tea. Uh, it's a very British thing to do, but uh, we're playing French. This is the French Tier 8 Battleship de Flandre. Uh, en Francais, which I am happy to have French. I'm actually pleasantly surprised about this. I, believe it or not, had this ship years ago and forgot all about it. It was one of my uh, teammates, Chad Lupa, that said, hey, blah, 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 and I went, well, let's try it out. And then she's got a gimmick. She's a normal battleship, but has one awesome gimmick. She has the highest DPM secondaries of any ship in the game. So people typically spec her out for secondaries, and that's what I've done here. And the fire chance is fantastic. And the heal is pretty good too. So I, I'm, I'm very happy with this boat overall. So I've been playing a lot of this during asymmetrical battles, uh, co-op and random, it holds its own. Now I'll get further into the details about that, about how I could do near the end of the video. But let's first, let's just uh, jump into what she's got for specs and whatnot. Look what the art department does. Doesn't that look fantastic, the Christmas thing? I love it. But uh, let's jump into your economic bonuses. I've got them fully specced out. 32 in the bow, but 50 on the side, which is really good. Now I want to show you the bow here in the Citadel. She's got a, a, a turtleback uh, Citadel protection, which is not bad. She's got 50 below that, so you got to be careful with that. The... Citadel does sit in the water and low, which is really good. I like that. Survivability, this is surprising. Over 75,000 and 51% torpedo protection. That's amazing. Artillery, three turrets. These are the 303s, or 380, sorry, 380s. And 33 seconds is a bit slow, but a good solid 20 kilometer range. Her HE can penetrate 63, well, 63 millimeters, and she has almost a 38% fire chance. That is disgusting. That's a fire starter. It's fantastic. And then our secondary's first one, they're 2.6 reload, 11.5 kilometers. Not as good as um, as fire chance. This one's a little bit better at 12.5, but again, 11.5, so this is fantastic secondaries. Airstrikes, two charges, 30 seconds. Hey, at least they're 10 kilometers. I believe 10 kilometers or 11 is the farthest you can get. We'll uh, move away from AA. Avoid carriers like crazy. Good speed at 35.2, bad turning circus, and this is with the captain skills there, 13.3. With equipment skills, sorry, very bad. And 20 kilometer range, firing and smoke is 12.7, so yeah, put out your fires. Especially if you're burning because you're going to be seen from a mile away. And that's not perfect at all. There, that's the captain skills. And let's go back. And we'll go look at our equipment. There we go. So, main arm battery, I always take that. It's a battleship, so I take damage control. I am built for secondaries. And here's where I said I took the rudder ship to get it down to 13.3. It's bad. I take concealment. She's got a good repair. It's only 76 seconds for cooldown, which I think is pretty good. And it's got a really good, decent heal. There's my flags. I'm set up for fire starter, basically. A little bit of fire starter. And I took the default camel that comes with it because camels are any, any, uh, any value. So for my captain, special captain, Charles Henri, uh, gun feeder, grease the gear is important. Vigilant, very important. It lets you see the torpedoes 25% quicker. And distance so it actually allows you to move and, and whatnot priority target always taking it i'm spec for secondary so adrenaline rush because you're going to lose health you're going to want that of course concealment expert i did not take fire prevention expert on this Find this out and of course the other secondaries so that's pretty much it and how it's built and what i can do that's what i do with it seems to be the most optimum build i've had so far whether i was doing asymmetrical or i was doing a random or co-op and things like that tested out operations is killer i mean i love we I did every operation known to mankind over Christmas with this thing when I rediscovered it. But overall, I, I do really like this boat. I think it's worth the money. It's a premium ship. I'm not even sure if you can actually get it anymore. Don't quote me on that. But uh, I believe I got in a Santa crate back in like 2018 or something. It was really weird. And I don't think I played that often or more. But it's a fun boat. It's also a little forgiving. You do want to be standoffish with it, no matter what, even against bots. You want to make sure you're not trying to brawl in this boat. You will get... Especially at tier 9 and tier 10 battleships like the Musashi, Yamato, 18 inch guns or 20 inch guns like the Incomparable, they can pretty much almost one shot you out of the game. So be very careful about that and be very mindful of that. But yep, I think it's fun. It's a good battleship at tier 8 to play. And with the DPMs being the most DPM secondaries in the game, you can just sit back in a smoke screen, which I've done with some of my teammates, and do a bit of a Schlieven. And that's right, she does have more secondaries than a Schlieven. Just want to put that out there. So. My recommendation, I like it. You get it? Have fun with it. Anyway, as always, let me know down in the comment what you think about it, because if you got it, have you been using it, and that type of stuff. It's kind of important for me to find out. 
And hey, just for if you can help me out with the uh, YouTubes, please hit the like and subscribe button because that actually does help. The more I get recommended, the more YouTube recommends my channel. And we're almost at 2,000 subscribers. But as always, uh, thank you very much and take care, stay safe, and bye for now.